How's it going everybody? This is Doom Kid. Today I'm just here to show you how to set up DOSBox for uh, optimal vanilla dooming. So first what you want to do, of course, is download DOSBox. Um, obviously I'll be using the Windows version, but you can use those different um, operating systems that are supported here. So when you download it and install it, it should go to program files um, x86 slash docsbox in your program files directory and what you want to do right away is go to your docsbox options dot bat and that'll bring you to this text file here what you can do here is set up all the important things about um, the visual display and the networking aspects of docsbox and stuff like that so what you'll want to do is whether or not it boots to full screen is completely up to you. But what I do to get the best video quality is I've set the resolution to match my actual computer's resolution. I put the output to OpenGL because that works best for my computer. Um, but you can see there's multiple different values you can have here for output. So if you get lag or a bad looking picture or anything like that, you can try different values for your output and different values for your uh, resolution here. And that can often help with uh, issues such as lag and stuttering. For sensitivity, this is your mouse sensitivity. I've set mine to 400. I think the default is 100. But uh, that can result in some really sluggish mouse movement in certain games, especially Doom. So I've set mine to 400 here. Now, once you've set this up and you get a good video and everything is not, not laggy and set to your liking, then what you want to change is IPX here at the very bottom. IPX equals true. Now, if you're not going to be using it for multiplayer, you don't really need this, but it doesn't hurt to have IPX turned on. So I recommend just doing it anyway. And uh, then you have your auto exec lines. Now I use DOSBox primarily for playing Doom and I have my Doom directories as C slash Doom and C slash Doom 2 respectively. So what I do is I have it automatically mount and then CD. So you type mount C, so that mounts the C drive which you have to do in DOSBox and then you put your actual directory which for me is simply C slash Doom. So that, is, that mounting it automatically will uh, remove some hassle. So you can just open up DOSBox and be ready to play. So that's all you'll need to set up in your actual DOSBox configuration. Now, once you get to that point, you'll want to set things up in Doom. So see, we can see right here, I'm in my Doom 2 directory. You can see this is what a clean Doom or Doom 2 directory will look like. Just a few programs like this. I'll have a zip in the description that includes Doom, Doom 2, Plutonia, etc. Just without the WADs, because I can't actually distribute the WADs, but I'll have the programs. And if you have the WADs, you can download them from GOG or Steam. You can drop the WADs right in these folders and everything will work as described here. Alrighty, we've got DOSBox running here. Uh, whenever I start up my DOSBox, it automatically mounts my Doom 2 directory for me. So what you'll first want to do is run setup.exe, which you'll see here in your actual directory there. So you type setup, and then this is where you'll actually be able to set all the controls and other different things like that. So keyboard and mouse is the most common control setup. Uh, for music, you can pick whatever you want, but I always pick general MIDI. Yep, that should be fine. For sound effects device, I usually just pick Sound Blaster. Seems to work. Yep, yep. DMA channel. Turn sound effects all the way up to eight. So now you've got your music and your sound all configured, but now you can configure your controllers. And remember, the sensitivity has been set to 400 in our DOSBox option, so it's a little higher than usual. But just for the sake of uh, modern control, we want W. S, don't need to worry about turning. Uh, use with spacebar is fine. Can fire, we're not going to use the keyboard for fire. Uh, strafe left and strafe right. Now you press F10 to confirm all those selections. Now you want to configure your mouse. Fire is left button, that's good for me. Move forward, I don't even use the mouse to move forward. 
but that's all fine. So you can just hit F10 to accept that. And now you can launch the game. It's going slow because I'm running uh, OBS. But the point is, you can get all this stuff set up correctly. Now, once you've run setup, it'll actually generate this default.cfg right here. And what you can do here is change the mouse sensitivity. I usually turn this to like 25 or 30 or something. But an important one is Joy B speed here. You want to set this, if you want auto run to be turned on, you want to set this to either 29 or 31, depending on your Doom version. If one doesn't work, the other will. So you can select 29 in that, save it, and that's what default.cfg is. You can copy this file to any other vanilla Doom directories you have, and it'll make sure the music and controls are all set up, and you won't have to run setup.exe once you get it feeling comfortable how you like it you can just use that for any vanilla doom programs be it doom 1 or doom 2 or plutonia now finally something that you might want to do in dosbox is run custom wads so for doom 1 there's a program called doom p and for doom 2 there's a program called doom 32 and these raise the limits of the executables greatly so that when you're running a mod, it's a lot less likely to crash or uh, mess up. So I've also included in the utilities directory here, these files for dehack. You just copy all this minus the text files. You copy these four files here to your actual Doom 2 directory. And then, it, when your mod has a de and a wad file, you copy those to your Doom 2 directory. And now, after you've copied stuff to your directory, you have to restart DOSBox. It, uh, it doesn't tend to recognize new things in the directory after it's been booted. So once you've put new stuff in there, you'll have to start it up again. And now to run the mod that we've just extracted there with that dehacked file, what we'll have to do is type de make. Now this runs a batch file. And when it says, do you want to do this? You press Y. And now it'll merge the name of that de into a new exe. And then it'll delete the exe that it created to do that. So now, you look at the name of the de and the wad, and you can type mohawks.exe file mohawks.wad. And really, if you just want to start typing something, you can press tab and actually look through and do it that way. So if you just if you have lazy fingers, it's an easy way to do it. And now this will load your mod, and you can play it as normal. DOSBox lags really bad uh, when I'm recording, so I'm not going to actually show. But uh, that'll work fine. And if you're playing a mod that goes beyond the limits, what you can do is just rename your Doom 2 to like Doom 2 Old and rename Doom 32 to just Doom 2. And then when you run Dev Make to make your EXEs or you just uh, want to load any other WADs, this will ensure that it doesn't crash on you using this expanded exe. And then the exe it builds from the mods will also be expanded like that. So yeah, this is just a basic rundown of how to get your Doom set up right in DOSBox and then how to load most mods. And there's also the case of mods where you need to use custom sprites. So sometimes when you try to run a mod, that uses custom sprites, it'll hang at the play loop state. For that, you want to use a tool called DEUSF, which I've also included in the utilities directory. And you would just type, you'd put that in your Doom or Doom 2 directory, and then you'd type APP, and then you'd type the WAD name. So whichever WAD is giving you trouble and causing it to hang at the play loop state, you would type that WAD name and it would then append the sprites from Doom 2 to that wad, and you can then play it as a normal wad. 
Anyway, if you have any trouble setting any of this stuff up, just let me know. I'm always willing to help, and uh, I hope this is helpful for you. Thanks for watching.